My name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, we're looking at the integration of Microsoft Forms with Microsoft Teams. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now using Microsoft Forms within Teams is super easy and Microsoft Forms allows you to not only create different forms, but also have quizzes. Now these quizzes can be shared with your students or you can use a simple form to just get some information from staff and teachers about the collaboration or planning that you're doing together. Now here we have Microsoft Forms open and I've already created a demo form. Now there's two ways that this integration can work. The first is to already have your forms pre-prepared and then pull them into Microsoft Teams. And the second way is to just create them from within Teams. So let's open up Microsoft Teams in our separate tab. Now here I'm in my demo study group and the first thing I'm going to do is link Microsoft Forms to my Teams. So I'm going to go to the top here and I'm going to click on this plus icon. Now if you remember from the previous video you can add different applications here and the one we're adding today is the forms application. So let's go ahead and select forms and then this is now being opened up. Now as I just said you have two options now you can create a new form or you can add an existing form. Now we're going to create a brand new form. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to name our shared form and we're going to say what would you like to eat? So let's say that we have a get together and we are trying to just poll the sort of food that our people attending our meeting would like to eat. Well, we can now add different options here. We're going to add a multiple choice question, but this could be a text or a rating or even a date. Now when you click on that drop down arrow here, we have a number of additional features and these are all part of Microsoft Forms. I'm going to go with the multiple choice option. I'm going to say, please select your food and there we go they're going to have to select the food they would like to eat and then we're going to add another option and this is going to be a sandwich now we're also going to add the other option so they could always put in a request i'm going to put a second question here any dietary needs and then people can answer that as well now let's say that this form is ready to be sent and shared with everyone within this study group well let's go ahead to the top here and let's preview it first we're going to preview this form this is what it will look like okay looks good what is it going to look like on mobile? This is looking great. And as you can see here, we have those icons and this is the immersive reader. So again, the immersive reader, I've done a video on that, is built into forms within Teams. So when I click on this at the top, we can now listen to this sentence. What would you like to eat? One, please select your food. Burger, veggie burger, sandwich. Okay, End brilliant. Question. So this way you can make sure that your forms are not only clear to everyone filling it out, but it's also fully inclusive and it really gives everyone a chance to understand what's going on. Let's go back to the computer view. Now one more thing to notice, as I'm still editing this form, you'll notice that here at the top it has this little word edit in front of it. That means that other people see that this form is still being edited and they can also jump in and help edit the form. Let's jump onto our teacher account and you will see that that teacher will see here at the top that a form has been added. When they click on that, they can see that form here, but it still has that edit in front of it. That means that I can help edit this form. So you can collaborate on the form, you can get it all set up together. Once the edits have been added and everything is ready to be sent, well, let's jump back to the main account and let's see what we can do then. Once you're ready to share this form and start collecting responses, simply go to the share button and then you can choose one of four options. Now the first is to get a link. The second is where you get a QR code that people can then scan. You can download this image and share it any way you want. You can also embed it onto a website or send it via email. Now I'm going to select the first option and I'm going to choose this link. I'm going to copy that link and now I can jump into my channel and I can simply paste that link in the conversation. I can say, please fill this out. And there we go, we're going to send it into our channel. Now this is the link for them to fill out the form. So as you can see at the top, this is where they edit the form and people can collaborate and get the form all ready and good to go. And then once that's been sent, when they click on this link down here and they can fill out that form. Now let's go ahead and fill this out. We're going to select veggie burger, not applicable, and then submit our form. There we go, our response has been recorded. Now let's have a look at the main account and let's see what those responses look like. 
So here in our main account now, we can go back into our form and then at the top you'll see that there is one response. Now this response has been sent to us by that teacher account. So when I click on responses, I now see oh, it took them about 13 seconds to respond. It's one response and the active status. Now here we get a lot of information about what was replied and how. And then here we have an overview of all the responses. Now this is incredibly useful, especially if you're going to set up different quizzes or forms. Now let's have a look at what it looks like when you're sharing a form with your students that you've already prepared prior to sharing it. Now let's go into a different team. We're going to go into our class demo and we're going to go to the top right there. We're going to select that plus again and select forms. Now instead of creating a new form, I'm going to select the add an existing form and here you can see it already pulls in all the forms you've created on forms.microsoft.com. I've got a demo form right here and I'm going to select this one and then it says what do you want to do with this form? Do you want to just show the results or collect responses? Now I want to collect responses. So let's go ahead and collect responses, post to the channel about this tab and let's click on save. This form gets pulled into our channel and now everyone again sees that this form has been pulled in. Now because I'm in a class channel, here at the top you'll see it doesn't say edit, it says fill because I selected that I wanted people to fill in this form. Now they can just fill in this form here right from inside that channel. Now the student gets a notification here in this channel and they see that I have to fill this out. They can either click here or they can click at the top. So let's go ahead and click on that and then instantly that form is pulled up and they can fill out the information right here. I'm going to select blue as a favorite color and then I'm going to add my name right there. Now you'll see as I scroll over this the immersive reader is there again. Very useful and great for your students. Let's go ahead and submit our answer. Thank you, your response was submitted. And once everyone has filled in the form, they can right click on this and then they can remove it from those tabs. Now when that teacher goes into Microsoft Forms, they can open up the form and at the top again, they will see those responses right there in a neat little overview of everyone that has responded to the form. So the integration with Microsoft Forms and Microsoft Teams is great, it's easy to use. Now you will see that there's only one form here and that's because this is my form. When you go to that other tab that says group forms, you'll see that that's where that group form lives. That was the form that was edited as a group where the collaboration is taking place. So these are the two main ways of using forms within Microsoft Teams. You have the group form, which is a form that is edited as a group within your teams, and then you can send it to different people to collect responses or you have a form that is created by a single person and then shared within that team to collect those responses. Now using forms and quizzes makes your lessons not only more interactive, but it also helps you gather lots of data on your students and on how the learning is going within your classroom. Now for even more tips and tricks on Microsoft Teams, click on that playlist right here or watch one of the other videos. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.